So Claire, can you explain why it's important that horses are fed a high fibre diet? Horses have evolved over many, many years as browsers of high fibre plant material, eaten in very large quantities. They're fibre specialists, their digestive anatomy and physiology reflects their, the diet they were meant to eat. They have a dietary requirement for fibre. If you try to fulfil their dietary requirements like protein, energy, vitamins and minerals without considering fibre, you will cause health problems. An example of this would be a performance horse fed a high starchy cereal grain based diet with restricted fibre rich forage. This horse will be at an increased risk of colic, gastric ulcers, increased risk of abnormal behaviour and will not be optimally healthy. What about the horse's digestive tract? How does it cope with all this fibre? Well the horse's digestive tract is specifically engineered really through evolution to deal with a high fibre diet. They have constantly erupting teeth to deal with the fibrous material they eat. They have a small, relatively small stomach which produces acid continuously. They have a fa fast passage rate through their small intestine and a very large hindgut which is full of microorganisms that break down the fibre in their diet, releasing nutrients they can absorb. So their, their gut shows us that they are really best suited to having a high fibre diet. You said that the horse has evolved to eat a high fibre diet and presumably by that you mean moist, fresh plant material. So what about the typical stabled horse that eats largely a, a dry diet? Yes Liz, that's a good point. The natural diet of the horse that I've been talking about, which is high in fibre, would include grass, um, sedges, hedges, tree leaves, that sort of material, which is high in water. In the winter months in the UK, when grass supply is a bit short, we often house horses and feed them a much drier diet, something like a hay and a concentrate compound feed. The natural plant-based diet of the horses would be around 80% water which means that for every kilo of material the horse eats, it'll be taking in about 800 millilitres of water. With a typical stabled horse on a hay and hard feed diet, that will be about 15% moisture. So for every kilo the horse eats, it'll be taking in just 150 millilitres of water. So obviously this is a much drier diet. So feeding succulents and water containing feeds over winter to a stabled horse on a dry diet is really good practice.